everybody and welcome to Brain Linker. First of all, I would like to apologize to each and every viewer for not uploading the video since last two months. I know that it's a long time, but I was busy in my project work. I had to complete my project. That's why. So please pardon me. Now coming back to this video, as the video title suggests, we are going to see how to set up Hibernate in Eclipse IDE. IDE is an integrated development environment that in short eases the software development task. We are going to use Eclipse IDE throughout this series. Prerequisite to set up Hibernate is JDK and Eclipse. In short, you need a JDK and an IDE. If you don't have these two things, then download and install both of them. I have given links in the description. If you don't know whether you have JDK or not, then you can check it out by going to the command prompt and then type java hyphen version if you see something like java version blah 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 then congratulations you have jdk but if you see something like java is not recognized as internal or external command then you have to install jdk second thing is we need to install eclipse so go to the link that i have given in the description i think you all are having 64 bit processor in your machine so go for 64 bit then click on download. It will download an installer for Eclipse. I am not going to download it again because I already have Eclipse. If you don't know how to install Eclipse, then go to the link that I have given in the description. Then click on download packages. Then click on Eclipse installer. Here you will see 5 steps to install Eclipse. What I was doing is the first step. Then second step to start the installer. Third step is to choose the package. I recommend you to choose Java E developers package because we are going to use it in later videos. Then you have to select the installation folder. Then simply load the Eclipse ID. Now we have to launch Eclipse. Just double click on the icon. Then it will ask for default workspace directory. The directory in which your project data will reside. In my case, it's a project directory. You can choose any appropriate directory and click on launch. It may take a while because my PC configuration is not that much great. Now we have to close this welcome tab. Then we have to create a Maven project. In order to do that, we have to go to the file and then new and then Maven project. In case if you don't find Maven project here, then you can go to other and then type Maven. Then you can see Maven project. Just click on next. Here you have option to create a simple project. It won't ask for archetype selection. You might ask what is an archetype. An archetype is a Maven plugin which provides rediment project structure for the project being created. You can also create your own archetype plugin. There are a number of archetype plugins available. You can select any one of them. Currently I am selecting quick start and click next. Then group ID, artifact ID and version. The output of Maven build is called artifact. And each artifact is uniquely identified by artifact ID, group ID and version. Artifact means a jar, war or any executable. Particularly group ID uniquely identifies your project across all projects. It's a good practice to follow Java package naming rules in group ID. So we are following that com.brainlinker.hello. Then Artifact is the name of the jar being produced by the Maven build. We have to give hello. Then version will be automatically assigned. Then we have to click on finish. Our Maven project is created successfully. You might see these two warnings. The first one says the compiler compliance specified is 1.5.
but a JRE 1.8 is used. Means our Maven by default uses JRE 1.5 and local machine uses JRE 1.8. So that causes the problem. So in order to rectify that, we have to go to the project, then go to the form.xml and we have to use Maven compiler plugin. Let me paste it. Maven compiler plugin is used to compile Java sources. Here we have specified source and target. Source specifies that our Java files are compatible with Java 1.8 and target specifies that our compiled class files are compatible with JVM 1.8. Just save this file. You will get a error here. Project configuration is not up to date. Please update the project. Something like this. So you have to right click on the project and then go to the Maven and then update project. OK. It will update your project. Here you can see 1.8. Also the warning won't be here anymore. Now we have to download Hibernate jar. In order to do that, we have to go to the link that I have given in the description. Then we are going with the latest stable version 5.4. Then click on Maven artifacts of 5.4.2. Then just copy this code and paste it under dependencies tag. Then just save this file. It will download Hibernate jar. You can see here all the Hibernate jars are in build path. Now let's see what form.xml does. It specifies configuration details used by Maven to build the project. Now we will particularly focus on dependency tag. As we have discussed, each Maven artifact or in this case jar is identified by group ID, artifact ID and version. So using these details, Maven can download appropriate artifact. I know that it has become Maven tutorial rather than Hibernate tutorial, but these details are required in the next video, we will go much in detail in Hibernet. Until then, this is Vishwanathan Pura signing off. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe us. Please press the bell icon for latest updates. If you have any doubt about the video, you can ask me in the comment section. Goodbye.